Now look at the way they dress and the loud music. Hello, I'm Bruce Burkhardt. Welcome to our program. Well, come to think of it, it's not that much different than when I was a kid. But don't be confused by the loud music and the way these kids look. The fact is, they're really square. That's square with a straight edge. self-liberation is abstinence from the destructive escapism of intoxication. I separate from the poison, a mindlessness I've always abhorred. It's a what's wrong with this picture kind of thing. Rockers, hard rockers, walking the walk, but talking a different talk. So the song's basically inspired by uh, things that I've seen when I was in junior high and high school, how people were uh, basically slowly destroying themselves with drugs and alcohol. Carl Beekner is lead singer for a group called Earth Crisis, one of the most popular bands among followers of a small underground movement known as Straight Edge. Do you have any sense of how influential this whole Straight Edge thing is at this point? I mean, is it, is it, is it having any kind of impact on... It uh, fully is. I mean, we've gotten mail from all throughout Europe, uh, Argentina, Brazil, Israel, Singapore, Japan. Trade Edge is definitely a growing thing. The mosh pit and the crazy sport of stage diving, a fixture at punk rock concerts since the 70s. But there, the similarity ends. No cloud of cigarette smoke hangs over this crowd. And if it looks like they're high on something, it's not drugs and it's not booze. We want people to understand that straight edge doesn't have anything to do with a clique or a crowd. It has everything to do with the individual adhering to a lifetime commitment to abstain from the poisons of uh, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes, taking illegal drugs, and also engaging in destructive and self-destructive types of behavior like promiscuous sex. It is hardly the rhetoric of the rock and roll I grew up with. Hopefully, just continuing to talk about it. Um, magazines, shirts, People get educated. DJ and Guab, a couple of straight edge movers and shakers here in Syracuse, one of several cities where the movement is thriving. They're printing up t shirts to sell at tomorrow's big concert. Do you make any money off this? I mean, no, not yet. Well. <laughs> so that's really what it all comes down to for you is just getting the message out. Yeah, that's my motivation, you know, because I see the way things are going. <laughs> You and I can't understand the lyrics. These kids can. In fact, most here know all the words by heart. Just a cozy little sing-along, with, of course, the stage diving thrown in. In fact, there's DJ. Remember, he prints the T-shirts. Why does that have to be so darn loud? Is this the way? <laughs> Rock and roll, man. It's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Listen, we don't do drugs well, and stuff, but we still rock. The thing is like, <laughs> I don't know how to rock. And though rock has always been associated with youthful rebellion, straight edge kids believe theirs is the true rebellion when it comes to drugs, sex, and rock and roll. These guys figure two out of three is bad. Rebellion can't be like, you know, messing yourself up and getting drunk. That's not rebellion. Like, that's what we're saying. It's like, that's the things that our parents did, and it's just like, it's not rebellious. You can't accomplish anything. Things need to be changed now. You cannot do that if you're at a party getting drunk. You can't do that if you can barely walk. And so they party like this, energetic but sober, and wearing that X on the back of their hand that proclaims they are straight edge. Not necessarily the symbol of defiance it appears to be. When it first started out, kids would go to the club and if you're underage, you got an X on your hand. So it just became the symbol of kids who weren't drinking. John McKegg is a sort of kindly uncle to the straight edge crowd, an art instructor at Syracuse University. McKegg books the concerts here, often putting the bands up in his own house. And during the event, he's also in charge of crowd control to the degree it can be controlled. When it started, it's a reaction against what's going on. You know, I talk to all the people that are involved in it here and all the kids that are involved in it, and all I hear from them is how pervasive drug use is. I mean, everyone 
everyone's on something. But then they go to a show here and they see a lot of kids who aren't into that and who are involved in things and are having fun and who are active and alert and uh, living. This next song is about straight edge and about how it doesn't matter if it's not cool to be straight edge. Hey, you got an X on your hand, just like uh, Straight Edge. Yeah, I was making fun of Straight Edgers last night and drew an X on my hand. And the fact is, a lot of young folks, so-called slackers, don't think Straight Edge is cool. They're stupid. They're boring. What, what do they do? Sit around and play hockey? <laughs> we found these young folks cruising around Atlanta, the kind of kids Straight Edge would like to reach. Goes out to everyone who has built themselves to last. Straight Edge is basically your starting point. It's like, it's freeing your mind from uh, the poisons. And from that, you have a clear mind and you can think about things like, like why you shouldn't kill if you don't have to, why you shouldn't eat animals. People are realizing we can't continue this way. Uh, a lot for the environmental um, reasons, a lot for the ethical reasons, and also for the health reasons. People are now finding out just how horrible meat and dairy is for you. They try to share their message through something called zines. That's lingo for their underground homemade magazines. But lately, they've also gone high tech with the internet. There are several straight edge home pages. Where did you go wrong <laughs> to, to raise these two sons? <laughs> Who says we went wrong? For Guav's mother and DJ's two children of the 60s, the stage diving and all might cause a little worry but they see a bigger oh, picture. Yeah. I see that this movement is the antithesis of the, the excesses of the 60s. We pretended we were so free and we got stone and had, you know, all these sexual excesses and look what it, look what the aftermath was. I'm just glad he's not making the same mistakes I am. I mean, because I made a lot of them, you know? I couldn't love my son any more than I do. We would be any prouder of him um, because he's living his convictions. Convictions that say pop culture is destructive to the environment and to animals. Many straight-edge kids are also committed vegetarians. And the reality of the situation is that um, these things aren't good for you, and they're not good for the earth, and they're not good for animals, and they're, they're just not good, period. So we got to all the victims of lung cancer, emphysema, and heart disease who died from smoking. And while the songs, for those who understand them, preach abstinence and self-control, the bands and the audiences seem to be anything but control. How do you reconcile kind of the hard, aggressive sound of, of you know, hardcore, which is just in your face, out of control, with the message of self-control, of, of, of straight edge? Well, I think, I think a hardcore show itself is kind of a controlled space. Like, the, the kids are having fun and watching out for one another, and they're letting out these angry emotions and... Uh, these aggressive tendencies. Are y'all really that angry? I mean, that seems pretty angry. <laughs> yeah, I guess sometimes I am. I mean, if, if I look around at things, uh, the state of the natural world, or um, the oppression of women, or the oppression of, uh, of people of um, races other than my own, um, it does make me quite angry to see that stuff. Youthful idealism or just another fad? Well, maybe both. But these kids say they're straight edge for life. It's been shown throughout history that one person can't change the world. Whether they were great people or whether they were horrible people, one person can change the world. And, and that's what we're doing, you know. There's thousands of us now all over the world. Started with one person's idea. We're not going to go away. Stay with us. We'll be back in a moment. The government.